Well, it's always good to catch up with our emerging talent, and when it comes to Bathurst, they can produce talent day in, day out. My next guest is Olivia Frisbury, 17 years of age, and I'm looking forward to having a chat with her. Well, Olivia, great to catch up with you, and as you would expect, coming from Bathurst, just born into harness racing, commencing with your grandparents, Brian and Faye. Yeah, um, they've been in it forever with Dad. Dad sort of gave it away and then sort of come back. I didn't have a whole lot of interest when I was younger until my brother got involved. And then that's when I sort of wanted to do it. But yeah, just sort of grown into it. And like most of the youngsters involved in the mini trotters, and you had a lot of wonderful experiences there. Yeah, no, it was a good experience. Just mainly more fun and just learning every day. And till yeah, I got into the old horses with Dad and then started my trials. Yeah, your dad, Nigel. Only a small team, but always very competitive, including a, a nicer one, Tinker Terra. Um, yeah, Tinker Terra, she's been a very, very special horse to us. Um, a lot of good owners in her. Um, they just enjoy coming and watching every week. We've won, I think, three races with her and a few nice placings, and she's hurt herself at the moment, but hopefully we see her back in a few months' time. That's very important, isn't it, Olivia, to have those owners who are patient and are in harness racing, not only just for the rewards, but to have a lot of fun with friends. Yeah, no, it's good, especially like we have a good group and um, just see him happy after a race, after a first win was just amazing. Of course, a Frisbee name, particularly from the Bathurst region, has had a lot of success. Your uncle Chris and, of course, cousin Anthony, they've had a lot of good horses on the way, so you would have been following their careers with a great deal of interest. Yeah, definitely. Um, we always go to Chris for sort of advice and um, to see him have a few nice horses is really good. Of course, there's also that involvement with the uh, clan known as the Turnbulls. Yeah, yeah. Um, sort of can't never be as good as them. They're always, you know, hard to beat when you have one in your race. But, um, yeah, it's good to see and obviously we're all related. But, yeah, no, it's good. You must sit back and admire the career of Amanda, what she's been able to achieve. Yeah, obviously a dream would be to be Amanda Turnbull driving winners every week. They just run for her and, yeah, it would be good. Another important player in your career is Peter Trevor Jones. Uh, yeah, Pete's been really good to me by giving me drives and, I haven't had a win on him yet for him, but a um, few nice placings and just put me on and give me an opportunity. When you started a career, which is not all that long ago, second at your very first drive? Um, yeah, amazing Trev. Actually, Juddy's horse beat me that I'm driving today. Um, yeah, it was a good drive. I was very close, um, but yeah, it was good. Fortunately, you didn't have to wait long for your first winner. Yeah, no, I think it was only about a month and a half, two months. Um, but yeah, it was a special win. Dad's horse, he's retired now. Um, yeah, he was a, like, sort of like was a lot in my driving. A few months ago, your emerging talent was recognised by the Bathurst Club, winning the Up and Coming Award. Yeah, no, it was really good to win that. I think it was the first year they brought that award out. But yeah, that's no, good. Carla Jane would be one of your favourites? Yeah, definitely my favourite out at Burns. Um, problem is, she's everyone's favourite. So <laughs> I had one chance in her and one, so it was, that was special. Yeah, you just mentioned Bernie. Of course, he's enjoying an outstanding run of success of late, and congratulations to him. Thoroughly deserved. Wonderful opportunity working for Bernie Hewitt. Yeah, no, it's really good. I enjoy working out there. Um, very hectic, hard work, but, yeah, we get it done and get the results. Olivia, well, as I mentioned, only 17 years of age, so you're in the early stages of your career, but down the track, are you looking to become a full-time trainer? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, I help Dad. Me and Dad are sort of halves with everything, so I'm doing the driving and we train together, so de that's definitely something I'll be looking at. And Olivia, having your first driver club in Angle today, we're having this interview just prior to that particular race. How's the butterflies? Um, yeah, it's very nervous. I'm um, excited as well, but i just got to remember how big the straight is and it's a lot different than Parks and Dubbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it certainly is a very long way home. Even the best of them get to the top of the straight thing. Geez, there's a long way to go yet. Yeah, definitely. Um, he's a strong old horse, so hopefully he goes well for us today. Well, Olivia, this is the first, hopefully, of many drives we see here at Club Angle, and hopefully uh, you'll be in the winner's circle very shortly. Hopefully.